Welcome to another Farming Simulator 19 Guide 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The BGA. This seems to be causing some consternation and issues um, around my subscriber base and just generally. Um, so I thought I would do uh, a guide to BGA. Um, it's a bit of a quandary and it's a tricky one at the moment, I'll be totally honest with you. I have accumulated a few bits of equipment to show you a couple of things that I have found. It would appear that Farming Simulator 19 at the moment is a bit like quantum physics, um, where every possible dimension and universe is happening and is existing at the same time altogether. Any possible permutation and outcome seems to be happening all over the place. So some people are saying some things are working not working do work don't work other people are saying they're working fine no problem at all and we're back to that glitch situation if it's glitching if your map's glitching and we're having issues <laughs> i honestly don't know what to say um this is what i found out this is what i'm doing um so i'm at the bga i don't own it i don't own anything what we're going to first do is have a look into the map not the map there we go, the prices menu. If you look down the prices menu at sell points, there is nothing on there for the BJ. Biogas is not on that at all. If I go to my map menu and we go up to the BJ, if I go onto lands, I bought the land next to it because I was cutting grass and stuff to make the chaff and for what I'm using. But as far as the map is concerned at the moment, I don't own the bit of land, this bit here, uh, this bit here. I don't own the biogas plant it's not mine i don't have it so here's the thing if i now um i'm actually going to put the menu on i think just to show for those people that don't need the menu on fantastic but some people do so fill level zero for chaff and compacting zero if i do l1 r1 and there's no option for tip if i try to it says you don't have access to this land so it's not allowing me to put chaff into the bunker silo which is frustrating However, it doesn't stop you from making silage. It doesn't stop you from chaffing because what you can do is we can go into the placeables menu and as long as you own a plot of land, wherever that may be, uh, we can go to silos and if you scroll across, you have the option to place a bunker silo small, medium, large, and then you can have double small, double medium, double large. So you can place your own bunker silos anywhere you want on the map. You can fill them with chaff, put grass in them, which will then be chaffed, cover it over, and you're producing your silage, which is wonderful. So you can still make silage, which means you can still make total mix ration for your animals and all that kind of thing. So you don't need to own the BGA to make total mix ration. You don't need to own the BGA to make silage for your animals. But if you want to sell silage, that's a whole different ball game. So what I have done then, over my field 16, I placed a silo. I filled it with grass, well filled it, but I put some grass in it, fermented it, and in this one here, in the Annaburger, and I love this trailer, um, I have got silage, which is wonderful. So I can't put chaff into the bunker silo to make silage, but I've already got silage, that's fine, so I'll just bring it to here and I'll sell it. Wonderful. Except again, when you get to this, uh, nothing comes up about selling. If I press my controls, L1, R1, nothing comes out about unloading, overloading, nothing at all. Which is a bit frustrating. So I thought, okay, well what you used to be able to do on FS17 was you could sell bales at the BJ. So, okay, sell bales at the BJ. I think you know where this is going at the moment because we don't actually own the BJ. So I've got a hay bale, I've got a silage bale and I've got a straw bale. Just out of curiosity, I just wanted to for my own peace of mind. The weird thing is, if I put them up on here, they used to just don't disappear and you'd get paid. Nothing. It doesn't. If I put it down, it just rests on the top. I thought, okay, maybe you've got to put it on the floor on the trigger. So, put it on the floor on the trigger. Come off of it. He says, put the bell down. Properly. Nope, nothing. Okay. So I think we've got the gist of the facts that we need to own the BGA. If you want to sell at the BGA, if you want to use the bunker silos at the BGA, you need to own the BGA. That's our first dilemma. So if anyone's been having problems with that and thinking, I don't understand it, I can't put anything in the bunker silo. Um, now, we have also got another issue. 
And it's a weird one. We know about silage. On FS17, you had a digestate tank, and I showed this on my first look. If I go around here, this to me appears to be the digestate tank. I've got my menu open, and just like the bunker silos, if I walk into the bunker silo here, it tell me fill level chaff, compacting zero. So come over to here and you think, okay, well this is probably the digestate tank. But nothing comes up. It doesn't say digestate tank zero, fill level, nothing at all. There's no steps to go up and have a look inside it like you had on FS17. So it becomes a bit of a, oh, I don't know really, what do we do? So in my mind I'm still thinking, okay, well we need to, we've got to buy the BJ, you know, at the end of the day we've got to buy it. So, back into the menu. Uh, go across, go to this, click on the biogas plant, our option to buy, and what's it going to cost me? 141096 I've still got the set on dollars from Ravenport. It should be euros, but it doesn't matter. I'm on Felsbrunn, but, you know, pounds, euros, dollars, whatever. 141. That's expensive to buy if you're going to sell silage. Now, at the end of the day, though, if you fill up both those those uh, bunker silos, oh, rather than me just chatting while I'm doing it, I'll buy it. I now own the BGA. Fantastic. Um, if you're going to fill up both those bunker silos and you sell it, when I mean, you're going to sell millions of litres you're going to make that 141,000 back in no time at all so if you are going to be looking at doing silage to sell at the biogas plant at the BGA um, it's an investment 141,000 seems like a lot of money but for the potential return it's actually probably pretty good uh, and a good idea now people have asked me as well if you're playing on multiplayer and you own the biogas plant do you earn income if they sell at the biogas plant I don't know in all honesty I don't play on multiplayer um, very often I do with a few mates and I do with my daughter sometimes but I haven't tested it on that if you want to test the multiplayer thing go ahead let me know in the comments what you found out I'm just doing this basically for kind of single player at the moment just as a, a bit of a gist so if I now scroll across to my prices menu in there we've now got just under barn at the top biogas plant which is fantastic however I still have an issue as I scroll across here um everything's on here which is wonderful i've even got a biogas plant i've got a price there it says for um slurry uh, price for silage sorry manure so i can sell manure there that's good there's a price there it says at the, at the biogas plant slurry there's also a price there so if i'm producing both of those that's fantastic and i've got my silage price there at the end there's not a symbol on the top of that menu yet for digestate the digestate tank, it would give you something on there so you, at least you knew what you had in your tank. But there's not one anywhere along that top row for digestate. Still have a bit of a dilemma, but in the end of the day, not to worry. So we now own the BGA. Fantastic. That means we should be able to sell bells and stuff now, shouldn't we? Lovely. So, what we do is we bring over here. Used to be a right result, you'd do your silage bales and you could do your hay bales and bring them over in a big old stack on your Kotec forks or whatever you wanted to do and you pop them in and... Oh, nothing. Well, there's a thing. So, apparently, you can't one. So for anyone that's watching this saying he doesn't know what he's doing, I have already tested this. This is part of the, you know, you can't. It won't let you. It won't let you do bales. Now, I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if it's something that will be rectified or whether that's intentional. If it's intentional, fair enough. It, you know, probably in the real world you can't put bales in. And maybe maybe FS17 was the, the issue, the glitch, and it shouldn't have done it in the first place. So maybe they've just removed it. It's okay, maybe it won't take hay bales, but surely it will take silage bales, won't it? You'd, you'd think it would, wouldn't you? It doesn't. It won't take bales. So if you're thinking of doing a load of baling and bring it down to the BGA, if I put it, put it on there nothing if I put it up on there it does, doesn't suddenly disappear nothing at all it won't take bales so a couple of things we already know you need to own the BGA it won't do bales which is a bit frustrating but what are you going to do so pop that down turn it off by the way this trailer is phenomenal I love it and what I loved as well was when I was bringing the stuff over here and I had all three bales on there on the menu itself down by where the speedo is actually showed you each bale each bale type and how much you had of each which is brilliant it kind of split it all down and told you what's on there anyway a little side note so bunker silos and if we own the bga surely we can use the bunker silos now surely 
the answer to that. As I drive through my bunker, if I do L1 and R1, it comes up. Unload here. Yes, you can. It still needs compacting, etc., etc. Um, but you can use the bunker silos. Now, I can only imagine. <laughs> and, uh, now, for the purposes of this video, for the BGA, Guide to the BGA, I have not filled one of these to capacity to find out to show you. So before anyone comments and says, if it's supposed to be a complete guide, you should have really filled one up and told us what the capacity is. I don't know what the capacity is. It would have taken me forever to do that. If you find out, drop it in the comments, let me know. It's going to be millions of litres. You look at the size of these. I just put 15,000 litres in there. Nothing. Drop in the ocean. It's going to be big. So we own it. I did bring the wheel loader over because I wasn't sure how this was going to pan out originally, but I'm not actually going to need it, I don't think. So I've got the Annaberger, and I thought, well, with the Annaberger, the good thing with this is I've got side my silage in here. Because you can lift this up as like a chaser bin, auger wagon, I'll be able to lift it right up and I'll be able to tip from a trailer into there. Now, this was an issue on some maps on FS17. It wouldn't let you tip from a trailer. And you had to use a wheel loader or conveyor belts and things like that, which was a bit of a pain sometimes. But you kind of got used to doing it. So I thought, well, at least with the Annaberger, with this, what I can do is... Oh, he says. Oh, I hate that. That map, the collision thing's got to get sorted. Um, if I raise this up now, surely I'll be able to overload, I'll be able to tip in with that raise, because that will reach up and it'll go into the thing. Wonderous. But the thing is, I didn't need to, because when I back in, now I own the BGA, it says already... R1 and triangle, start overloading, silage. So R1, triangle, start overloading. Happy days. So I can unload from a trailer. Awesome. However, I don't know if you just noticed or not, I didn't get paid. I didn't get paid a penny for that. Nothing. Nothing at all. So automatically we go into glitch mode. We start thinking, okay... Uh, we've got a problem now then so I've bought the BGA, I've done all the hard work I've made my silage, I've bought it here I've sold it and I haven't been paid that was a waste of time, it's processing it but the money's not going up oh dear, we'll come back to that in a moment back to our digestate situation and here's the thing, we go into the menu and we go to vehicles or trailers if I go across to slurry which is kind of where you'd think it's going to be your slurry tanks and if I go, well, all of those, if I look at the Garant there, down at the bottom it shows me my, my liquid slurry, my slurry symbol, and it shows the digestate symbol. So does that one, so does that one, so does that one. They all take slurry and digestate. Well, if that's the case, where is my digestate, is what you're asking. It has to be here, surely. Well, I've got myself my lorry, and I've got a tank on the back. So I'm going to drive over to it, because surely this is it, isn't it? Now, with the truck... Interestingly, now I've come over to it. Looking at the menu, it says L3, start filling. It still hasn't given me a total, though. It hasn't given me a capacity. It hasn't told me what I've got in storage. And if I go back to this menu again, it's not in here. It, there is no digestate level. It doesn't tell me how much I've got in that BGA which is an interesting one, so I've got to try and kind of guess, I suppose, what I've actually got. But if I do press L3, it comes up. Select the silo whose content you want to load into your vehicle. I want the digestate from it. At the moment, there's only 460 litres. That says 492 now it's put in there, and that was a kind of instant because there was only a tiny bit in there. But this is your digestate tank. There is digestate in the game. There just isn't a fill level for it. It doesn't tell you anywhere what it is. I have had a bit of a drive around this entire tank hoping something was going to come up, um, but it hasn't. But just so you know, so you are, you are aware, there is digestate in the game. It, it is producing it. This is the digestate tank. I know it's going to be different on Ravenport. I'm trying to think of the, the BGA at Ravenport. But there will be a tank with a spout if you go over to it with a vehicle. Now, I don't know whether it will fill up 
directly into spreaders and stuff because I know on FS17 sometimes it would fill to a tanker but wouldn't fill to a spreader and vice versa so that would be a case of having a bit of fiddle around but I just thought I'd let you know it is there so we own the BGA we've solved a few problems we can now tip into here we can sell our silage we can't do bales at the moment now I haven't checked for loose hay I haven't checked for loose straw or anything into here potentially loose hay might work it did say in that menu under biogas it did say manure and it did say slurry so if you can bring manure here i assume it'll do the same thing it'll give you the overloading symbol and do that so as far as being paid goes we have an issue at the moment um that issue hopefully i will resolve for you momentarily bear with me So top right hand corner, the time is whizzing towards midnight. I'm on 19,239,244. This is, this is my test map, that's why there's so much money there. So I'm more interested in the 239,244 than the 19 million. At midnight, any time about now, seven thousand four hundred sixty biogas plant income the money goes on at midnight so if you're selling at the bga and you've panicked and you've suddenly thought i've just dumped fifty thousand liters in there didn't get a penny you will get paid at midnight that wasn't too bad because i didn't put a huge amount in there to be fair and just got seven grand for what i did put in there um, the investment in the first place is buying the biogas plant for 141,000. but if you're intending to put a load of, of silage through it or manure or slurry uh, whatever you're going to sell in here um it's probably well worth the payout in the first place um with that that is the end of this guide too we've covered all the things i think i need to although i'm sure somebody there someone will think of a question for something that i haven't thought of or haven't looked at and that does happen things slip your mind or there are certain things that just don't cross your mind at all i think i've covered the main points um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.